What's good guys, it's your boy AB Anthony Brown, AKA Goku's father. And today I wanna to be as transparent with you guys as possible. Um, I have new goals. New goals meaning I'm going to compete next year for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna be doing classic. And you know, on this journey, I would like to be 100% with you guys in basically everything I'm doing, my training, everything. Um, real quick, forgive me for my chair. One day I'm about to break this damn chair, so if you hear it squeaking, forgive me. You know, I was just talking to a friend, and he's like, hey, bro, don't do it. Don't say it. I'm like, bro, I have to. I have to be 100% with you guys. I just like to keep it real, man. I, I, you know, that's the type of person I am, and I don't like to fake it like some of these other influencers online. So with that being said, I'm going to talk about my cycle, uh, my experience with it, my first experience with it. <sighs> It was crazy. I'm not going to lie <laughs> because I did it wrong. And I'm saying this because I know it's a lot of kids out there that want to do it and it's the right way to go about it. But thing is, I'm not trying to promote any anything. I'm not trying to have you kids go out there. I'm not trying to have anybody go out there and do something that's not legal. My first cycle. This is what happened. I was going to this gym. This is when the pandemic started. Like everything was closing down and uh, there was no gym available for me to go to you know i can go to my own gym because it's currently still in the process and i'll talk about that some other video but me and a friend we found a gym i'm not going to name the gym but we started going to the to this gym i am going to say the gym is hardcore bodybuilding gym right we, we we was working out there every day consistently you know like the pandemic never happened, you know, because no one in the gym was wearing masks at the beginning. And it was just a nice gym. It felt like everything was back to normal again. Well, <clears throat> as we, you know, as you go to those type of gyms, you fall into to people that's on juice and is running steroids and stuff like that. My first experience is with this dude. I'm not going to name his name. And I know he watches my videos. This guy basically had uh, had the stuff and he was so open about it he's like yeah you know I've been I've been running gear this is what I used to look at I'm looking at all of his photos because in person I'm like bro you don't look like you run gear at all you look skinny as fuck you look like ET unproportioned I don't like to put no one down but he was saying he was on juice and I just didn't believe it. Anyways, he showed me pictures and I'm like, what? This dude was big, man. He looked crazy. Next thing you know, as we started hanging out with him and working out with him, he gave me and my bro some stuff. And I was doing my research at the time. I was looking into what what was good to, to start up, you know, on a stack. And so guy gave us some tests. He gave us testosterone, test E, and then they... And uh, it was 400 milligrams per cc. So it was, for most tests come in 250, 250 milligrams. So he gave us uh, a higher dose test. And uh, man, this is where it all went wrong. During this whole pandemic, like, you know, the coronavirus was going around and people was getting sick left to right. Our first injection we took at the gym be injected in the, the bathroom um and once once you put that that needle in your ass <laughs> it's like it's kind of like saying yo you sold your soul you know what i mean you so you're in this for good and that's that's just my opinion other people may think differently but that's how i looked at it because you know i always felt like natural was the best way um but i'm gonna get to a i'm gonna get to the point where I'm on it and why I take it, but I'm just telling you guys my story right now. Sorry about that. People blowing me up. Stop blowing me up. Follow me on Instagram. Anyways, yeah, once you inject that needle, it's like, okay, this shit is in you. You now put a science project in your body. Now it's going to get to work. And so <clears throat> once we did that, we was consistent with it. I think we did it Monday and Friday. Those were our days we pinned up. Um, and we did a high dosage. So 400 milligrams per cc, um, doing that every week, that's 800 milligrams a test. And let me tell you, it was crazy. It was nice. We, we lifted heavy. We got big. We got swole. In two weeks, 
Like, I can't even, in two weeks, like, literally. And it's not even supposed to kick, it, like, it, it, maybe it was just um, the mindset of having it in our blood. And we're like, damn, this just in our blood now, you know. But as it's in your blood, it progresses to the levels of 800 milligrams a week. So as it's rising, we can feel it rising in us. Um, and man, in that first two weeks, like, it was really good. But then again, this is where it got really bad. So after the first two weeks, I'm going to say the end of the third week. I started coughing, <coughs> like super bad, man. Like I honestly thought I got the coronavirus, and it I I wasn't sick. Like I was taking, um, I was taking all types of stuff to 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 fight this to fight whatever I had. I, I thought it was I honestly thought it was the coronavirus, but I was taking like airborne, theraflu, and man, I just felt so sick. It was ridiculous ridiculous like i'm like man i definitely got the coronavirus and i was in bed sometimes i'll just be in bed all day this is the thing though so my friend took the same shit as me he was taking the same test eat like the same brand and everything and he was the only like effect that he had it was like once we shot it into us the next day our ass would be so sore because of how potent the test was it wasn't even fun to squat like i couldn't even bend my knees 90 degrees to get in a squat position because my ass was so sore and i'm like man this is how it feels to be on shit like so painful it was the worst experience ever i was sick i was coughing up mucus that's like and i could have swore i had the coronavirus i was coughing up like a foamy mucus and i'm like it's definitely f fucking up my inside so but thing is i was only getting the effects my friend wasn't getting the effect I'm like, bro, are you coughing up stuff? He's like, nah. He's like, man, you sick. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, I can't be sick. Like, I don't feel like I was to have, like, some type of flu or the coronavirus, you know? And this, I, I wasn't having the same symptom, symptoms because I was Googling it. And I was like, okay, my throat's not sore. But I am coughing a lot. Like, like I was coughing so much. It was just crazy. So what I did was I hit the dude up that gave us a test. I'm like, bro, what is in this shit? It's making me cough up. And I'm feeling out of it. I can't even work out. And I'm putting this stuff in me. Like, And when I did work out, it was on like very rare days. But it was like so good because, you know, the, the test was kicking in. And uh, the guy's like, no, man, it's just regular test. But it comes to find out I was allergic to the oil in the test. Everybody has a different body type. I don't have the same body type as my friend. My friend can inject that same oil the same oil into his his uh his body and what i mean when i say oil is when they make these products when they make tests especially if you're getting it from the, the uh, like the black market because i don't know where this this dude got this shit from you know it could have been somebody's backyard uh, for all i know all i know is when they create it they mix the powder with a certain oil and depending on the oil it can really mess you up it can even kill you so you got to be careful when you deal with this stuff and that's my whole point to for sharing this story you guys don't know what you're putting in your body it's extremely dangerous and is it worth it that's what i want that's what i want to come down to is it worth it putting stuff in your body now for me i have different goals i've been working out for a long time i've been working out since I was, I don't know, maybe 12, 15 years I've been working out. So at this point in my life, I'm going to compete next year. And uh, me competing next year and going against these other guys that look phenomenal. And I'll be doing classic, uh, classic, classic physique. That's the, the competition I'll be doing. Um, and I, I, I want to be. You know, just like everybody else that's competing, number one. And so I got to put in the work. doesn't matter what it is. I got to do what I got to do to get where I want to be. But is it worth it? To me, it's worth it. Different goals. But it, for somebody that's trying to be healthy, you guys can still have an amazing body. You know, no one's judging your body but you. And you should only care about your own opinion about your body. Don't worry about everybody else's opinion of course you know you can do it to get the girls or whatever but you have the the say so on how you want to look like you know not nobody else and so just remember that when you're building your body 
Um, because a lot of people, they, and you know, in this industry, it's a lot of competing. And I honestly don't have the mindset to be like, oh, I'm better than that person. Or, you know, I, I got to get my, my lats bigger than this person because that's the only way I'm going to win. I don't know how I'm going to go through that because I'm just not that type of person. But in this industry of competing to, to win a competition, you kind of have to adjust your mindset a little bit. That's not... It's not saying like I'm going to be like, oh, I'm better than everybody else because that's just not the type of person I am. But we'll just see how it goes because I know in the industry right now, that's just the, how it works. Um, so I'm just curious to see how that's going to work out for me. You know what I mean? I love winning. Don't get me wrong, but I don't like saying I'm better than somebody else. You know, I just feel like, you know, it's not, that's just not me. You know, maybe somebody else can do that. That's, that's them. But as far as me, nah. But that was my experience, my first cycle taking uh, steroids. It was just test, testosterone. And I did it for six weeks, seven weeks. And, you know, me being on this journey right now, I'm continually, I'm continuing to take it. Um, and other, other compounds as well. And uh, it's not a joke. You guys got to get your blood work done. You guys got to be professional. And I think it should be more voices like this, like myself. And, you know, I'm not as big as some of these other YouTubers. But when somebody finds my channel and, you know, they see me and, you know, because I am growing, you know, I am growing. And I, I thank all my followers for, for, for loving me and I appreciate all of you guys, you know. But as I'm growing, I just want to be truthful in my journey and not fake it like some of these other influencers out there. Which I think is wrong because they're like, you know, they false advertising, they're false advertising their 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 results, and it's just certain stuff you got to take to get results like that. Um, now I'm not saying you can't do it naturally, you know, but you can tell like, you just can tell, man. Just like hey, stop bullshit. You can tell when somebody's on some shit, you know. So I wanted to be real with you guys. Um, and I'm seeing, what's his name? Joe Ecstetics do his thing. Uh, he came out about it. And he's been listening to Greg. I forgot. I don't know how to say his last name. Detochi or something like that. Don't get mad at me, man. Don't make a video on me. <laughs> but, no. Uh, he came out and he's talking about, you know, his steroids. And I, man, I salute you for that, bro. Like, that, that's amazing. And I think people should realize, like, if somebody's being truthful and knowing how sensitive the topic is... You should actually sit back and put yourself in those shoes and in his shoes or whoever's shoes and be like, man, you know, he's actually making a big statement, especially somebody with a big following. And a lot of people look up to a person like I know a lot of people look up to me. So I just want to be real with you guys from the beginning as I'm continually, continually, con ugh, tongue twisted, as I continue to make videos and as I make these videos, you guys are like, what? yo, what? what is this man taking? Is he natty? Like, I see the comments, you know? So, I just want to be 100% with you guys. When it comes to getting results, it's not like you can't get results naturally. Because I know it's going to be a lot of people now, especially these days, coming forward and saying, yeah, I hopped on some steroids. But, you know, there is a, a limit to being natural. There is no limit in being natural. You can always go up and down in weight. You can always body build. Um, so don't think that you're limiting yourself when it comes to being natural. You can make so much progress with being natural. One, it comes with your mindset though. And same way with people on gear. Mindset is everything. Grow your mindset and you can grow your body. All right, it all starts with your mind. That means if you have to go to the gym every day instead of three days, create the mindset to do that. You see what I'm saying? Um, like Greg says, <laughs> work harder than last time. If you're natural, train hard. How hard? Harder than last time. That's what you have to do. Anybody can make results when it comes to building their body. You got to put the time and the effort in, though. There is no shortcuts. There, there isn't no shortcuts in this in this industry. I don't believe there's no shortcuts. When you say when somebody's on gear, there's no shortcuts. He has to work twice. I feel like you have to work twice as harder. When you put that stuff in your body, it's like, it's like, 
I think it's like paying a car bill because you know you have to pay that car bill every month. So when you know you're putting this stuff in your body, you know you got to work harder and harder. You got to eat certain stuff. It doesn't make any sense if somebody's just putting stuff in their body and not doing anything. You see what I'm saying? Why would you ruin your body like that? Why would you want to go through that experience? This is stupid. Stupid. That's what I'm saying. You guys got to have a purpose. And um, just be careful, man. Be careful. Uh, now, I'm not telling, like I said, I'm not telling anybody to do it. I'm not telling anybody to to not do it. But make sure you guys do it for the right purpose. Uh, yeah, I know this video was a little, I don't know. Because usually I'm always, you know, kind of goofy in my videos. And I'm always talking about crazy shit. But I'm going to start making videos like this. Hopefully you guys like my new setup. So I want to hear you guys' comments. Um, like this video for me. I appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, make sure you guys check out my, my, latest, my latest workout video. I think I did biceps. Or, yeah, it was biceps. Bicep video. Also, if you guys have any questions about anything, hit me up in the DM. I love talking to you guys. Um, yeah, it's your boy AB. Anthony Brown. A.K.A. Goku's Roll. I'm out.